Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Very warm welcome back. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, for today's video, I'm always learning more about video and audio production these days. And I'm gonna be showing you how to run a XLR microphone into a Zoom H1N uh, field recorder. Now the Zoom H1Ns have a really well-deserved reputation as being just incredibly versatile tools for uh, people who are kind of at my stage of the videography journey a couple of years in, still consider myself an early stage student of this fascinating world. You can pass a microphone uh, through them, so they have a line in and a line out, so you can run this through the Zoom while also recording onto the Zoom to have a backup, which is one fantastic thing they do. They can also be used completely handheld. You've got these two uh, microphones at the top. So they're very versatile and they're very, very useful. And that's why they're so popular. But what happens if now a few, a couple of months ago, I upgraded uh, from a consumer camcorder from Canon up to my first uh, professional grade camcorder, the Canon XA40. And given that that has a professional top audio handle, I started uh, upgrading my microphones from these kind of pretty basic um, 3.5 mil mics up to uh, more professional microphones, which tend to have XLR connectivity. Now, if you take your average XLR microphone, here's a shotgun microphone from Boya. This is the BYBM6060 that I was using before I upgraded to an Audio Technica microphone. Uh, these guys tend to terminate in XLR, right? So your three-pronged XLR connection. Now you might ask, how do I get an XLR microphone into uh, this? So the answer is really simple, actually. You can just use a XLR to TRS cable like the one I have here. Uh, but the second thing, second feature you'll find with a lot of these more professionally oriented XLR microphones is that they require phantom power. So we've got two jobs really to get our XLR microphone into these into something like the Zoom H1N field recorder. Firstly, we need to supply the microphone with phantom power. And secondly, we need to just have a XLR to the 3.5 mil uh, uh, cable. So regarding the first question of uh, getting power in, I recently picked up a terrific gizmo. It's called the X-Vive. Uh, P1 phantom power injector. This little gadget is uh, does what it says on the tin. It's a very simple piece of gear. It has an on off switch and you've got a few little nice LED lights to, that light up. And you've got one switch here that has 12 volt, 48 volt written on it. So it'll toggle the power inject from, 20 to, from 12 to 48 volt. This means that whether you're, if you have this gear, whether your XLR microphone has an internal battery compartment or not, now, some like this Boya do. Personally, I prefer the method of using an external battery like this for the reason that if you're only doing this very occasionally, you probably don't want to have a, a battery sitting in a microphone for six months because there's always a concern that the battery is going to be bad, it's going to decay. So if you're just occasionally getting a few different mics into something like this, uh, my recommendation would be to use one of these uh, there's probably other phantom power injectors on the market. Google that uh, in Amazon and, and I'm sure you'll find one. So what I'm going to do, got, getting all my kit together, I have an XLR to XLR uh, cable here. And what I'm going to do is plug in this uh, cable to the uh, microphone. So I've got the XLR here and then I'm going to go into the P1, okay? So we're just doing this process as best as I can here at my desk. And there we go, nice secure connection. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually turn on the P1. So we are putting power into the uh, shotgun microphone. Now, gonna put that down for a second and pick up my Zoom H1N field recorder. I'm going to turn on the power uh, on this uh, lovely device. Power on, booting. Lovely. And now I'm simply going to get my 3.5 to TRS, three point, sorry, XLR to 3.5 mil uh, cable, like so. And I'm going to go from my uh, XLR from the P1. Let me just grab this up so you can see it. I'm now going out of the P1 with that cable. And all I need to do now is plug into the Zoom into the microphone line in, which I hope you can see uh, in the webcam. Uh, it's a 3.5 mil connection and boom, there we go. Now, in order to verify this is working, I just got a message. In fact, I'm just gonna show you guys again. Okay, it's gonna say 
internal mic now because it's using the uh, microphones at the top and if all works well we should get a message saying external mic three two one external mic wonderful external in and you know the kind of crude way to uh, test this is just to kind of look at the level meters and just tap on the microphone a bit and I can see that that's darting up on the Zoom H1N uh, the levels as I am doing that. So that's it basically how to get your XLR microphone into a Zoom H1N field recorder. Just to do a very quick recap, two things you're going to need to look at. One is the cable, you're going to want a XLR to 3.5mm cable and the second thing you're going to need is uh, if your, if your uh, XLR microphone requires phantom power you can use the phantom power injector so that even if it doesn't have a internal battery pack uh, you can have a way of getting your external power run that run from the output of the uh, external power injector into the Zoom H1N and you should be able to get audio from that XLR microphone straight into your Zoom H1N and record it on the recorder. Hope that video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me about uh, video, audio, other subjects, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.